everyone and welcome to Dueling with Downton and today we're going to be looking at a mini crack theory slash topic discussion video. The topic of whether or not Rook can become an antagonist in the future of Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens. As we know Rook is a great duelist who at the time of recording has not lost a single duel and we're 36 episodes into the series but with episode 37 coming in ever so closer this could jeopardize his win streak. Rook could in fact lose to a pigeon of all creatures. Now if this were to be the results, I honestly would think this is a good thing as we can start to develop Rook's character a bit more and maybe move him down the line of being an antagonist by allowing him to reflect on his actions and come into his own answers and conclusions as to why he lost that duel. So we'll go into all of that and all the reasons and how a scenario can play out in this very video. As we know, Rook wants to duel. He wants to win duels and eventually become the king of dueling. But how can someone who loses to a bird become a king? That would be the question that plague Rook's mind. Turning over and over again, eating at his own consciousness, driving him crazy. Thus making him reflect on that duel and the reasons to why he lost. Making him believe that he was underestimating his opponent, overconfident, and carefree. He was too careless during that duel. He thought that, hey, a bird can't duel properly. It's weaker than I am. I'm way better than this person. I'm going to win easy peasy. Uh -uh. He loses. Thinking back on the reason as to how he became so carefree, his answer would eventually lead him to Roman, Yuga, and Garkato as being that reason. This would cause him to distance himself away from his friends, making himself seem a bit more kind of antagonistic like towards them, maybe revisiting that plot thread of calling Roman a traitor all the time, and basically calling Gakuto a useless class president, and then telling Yuga, I'm confused, I'm baffled, you have a worse win streak than I have. I've won more times than you, Yuga, and yet you are still in contention for being king of duels. I don't understand it. I'm confused. Why? This could be what leads Rook slowly but surely down that path of becoming the antagonist of the show. Because before the events of Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens, Rook was winning a lot of Master Duels in very serious environments and situations. He was in scenes like bars and undergrounds. He even went and fought Otis but lost on a time timer restriction. So at the same time, we know that before Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 started, Rook was a very serious and competent dueler, both inside and outside of dueling. Because in order to get into those type of situations and those type of environments, Rook would have to be quite smart, quite witty, and quite serious in his personality. So, of course, what changes his personality to being goofy and silly would be the people around him that affected him. That, again, would be Rook, Roman, and Gakuto. Not Rook. Rooks himself. You get what I mean. Because we already have the shared goal between Yuga and Rook, so why do we have a rivalry that is so boring? When we're looking at the rivalry, rivalry between Rook and Yuga, there's nothing there. There's nothing to get us excited about in terms of wanting to see these two characters duel again. Because they both have the same goal. They want to um, both become the king of duels. Yet, the rivalry itself reminds me of the rivalry between Jaden and Cyrus. That's how bad it is. Cyrus was never really considered a rival to Jaden, but they still stated that he was a rival to him. I wish that they built up and develop a rivalry, make a bit more tension between Yuga and Rook, really establishing that both characters want that goal and both would destroy each other to get that position as King of Duels, making their next duel against each other because I believe we are going to see one against one of them uh, again in the future more meaningful. In episode 27, we have that strange inner duel between Rook and his shadowy version of himself. So maybe that shadowy version can start seeping into Rook's personality, slowly taking control of his body, thus making him more antagonistic towards those around him. This would then shift his personality from being goofy outside of dueling to more serious all the time and more kind of edgy in just a general sense. We could then work on establishing himself as a real threat once again, 
bringing him back up by taking down some strong opponents, say past villains like Neil, Roa, or even Asana. This would make him high enough on the totem pole to basically tell us as the audience he's still stronger than Yuga because Yuga beat all of these other antagonists and she's beaten Yuga before in some sense or another. So when it times comes to time for Yuga and Rook to battle each other once again, then there's a more there's more of a risk of Yuga actually losing and Rook actually coming out on top. Instead of just being like, oh Yuga's the main protagonist, of course he's going to win. But more importantly than having Rook face the previous antagonist, we need Rook to defeat Tiger. He needs to beat his own sister in a game of Yu-Gi-Oh! Because then, after this win, Tiger can then start to see a change within Rook's personality. Seeing that his smiles have faded, and that his passion for dueling is clouded by his desire to win at all costs. This would then cause Tiger to then confront Yuga, saying, like, look, this is what's happening to my brother. Help him. Save him. Do whatever you have to do. Which then, Yuga would reply, Yes, this confirmed my suspicions. I thought something was up with Rook all the time, but I just couldn't confirm it. Thank you, I would do my best. Or something along those lines. Because we know what Yuga's intentions and goal is when it comes to dueling with the Rush Duel format. He wants to bring smiles to those around him. Ultimately, this would then conclude with the final serious duel between Rook and Yuga. And this time, it would actually mean something. It would be personal to both characters. There'll be tension between the two. Because one is the bad guy, where the other one is the good guy. If we were to build Rook as an antagonist correctly, and then have him show off his tremendous skills, maybe he could even face Gakuto and Roman, even after they were pleading and begging him to return to his normal self afterwards, just showing that his personality just does not care about their connection beforehand, and the fact that he's now become solely a brutal duelist that wants to crush anyone in front of him. There is still a way you can implement Rook and Goha into the story as well, having them a partnership. For example, Rook can team up with Goha in a quest to crush Rush Dueling completely, because that's what Goha's goals are. So Goha can say, look, if you utterly crush Rush Duels, we'll give you the title of King of Duels. Rook, being slightly naive still, will accept this and then obviously turn evil slash antagonist like properly by aligning himself with the overall arching enemy. But of course, that naivety will give us a window of opportunity to bring Rook back to his senses at the end of this arc. Because the fact that he's still naive means that he's still a, a part of his former self, and still a part of the Rook that we have known for these th 36 episodes, is still present, even after all of the actions that he's currently taken as his new evil persona. Thus making the change of heart at the end of the arc a lot more kind of uh, foreshadowed instead of just pulled out of someone's backside. So you're probably thinking, what if Rook actually wins in episode 37 and the Pigeon does lose? Well, we can still have this, uh, this scenario play out. Sorry, I got hiccups. We can have this scenario play out in terms of Rook losing to another duelist that is very considerably weaker than he, than he is. Still making him question himself as to how he lost that duel because he should be overly confident and he should win every single duel that he's been in. That's his mindset. Once he gets like that, once he gets big headed, that's when he'll lose. And that's when this development stage for him becoming an antagonist could occur. I just think having him lose to the pigeon would be a bit funny and realistic to making him question himself in a deeper sense of the word. So that's all I got to say for this video. Let's go to my ending monologue. Now, with all that being said, like I said earlier, Yuga can still stick with his ideals of wanting to make people smile um, through rush dueling and even after Rook loses, because ultimately if there is an antagonistic Rook versus Yuga at the final of an arc, Yuga has to win. But we can also get an emotional duel between both Yuga and Rook. We can also get an emotional scene from Rook feeling like he's lost all places within the world. No one wants him around and yet his friends still accept him even after all of the pain and sorrows he put them through. Thus making him value those around him a lot more, and maybe just still re keeping that seriousness about him, but then obviously having the joke here or there every so often. Because Rook does need to grow up, he does need to develop as a character a lot more. 
And personally speaking, this situation would do just that. It would develop him. It would make him see things from a different angle and a different light. And honestly, it would just make his character a lot more enjoyable. Because when Rook's being a clown, it's super annoying to watch. But when he's an adult and he's serious, I really do like it. I think he's a good character. When I first started watching Sevens, he was up here. But now he's like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I just don't care. I want something from Sevens to make me care about Rook again. Because he's got a good design. And he is a good character. I just wish we had more. But then again, if you have any other ideas or thoughts or opinions, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think of this idea? Do you think he can become an antagonist? Let me know your answer to that one. But of course, if you enjoyed the video, then hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new for more content from me in the future. Yu-Gi-Oh! related, of course. But above all else, have a great day. Alligator, Martinet, goodbye.